Hey you guys, welcome back to Catching Waves Yoga with me, Leslie. Looks like Finn and Lenny just joined too, so you guys are in for a treat. Um, I'm leaving that door open because otherwise they were just a little too crazy. It's not like the most sightly thing, but whatever. You guys already know that I'm like super transparent and it is what it is and I say things wrong and I almost fall over, so a door is really nothing in comparison. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. If you guys have been following along with me on my Instagram, lroberts1121, um, you will know that I'm doing a heck of a lot of sewing. <laughs> I make these really cool scarf mask things. We call them Roberts wraps. And I had no idea that they were gonna be such a blessing and so many people were gonna want them. So it's super exciting that you guys are getting them. And anyways, you're here for yoga, not to hear about sewing. So I hope you guys are ready. Clearly I have my mat set up over there. I wanted to come up like nice and personal today and just say hi. If you are joining me live, I would love for you to give me like thumbs up, heart, smiley, if you can even do that. Um, just tell me because Facebook doesn't tell me these things anymore and I'd rather know I'm not alone <laughs> talking to no one. So anyways, I'm gonna go back to my mat. Oh goodness, you guys. Get your mat to see, look, I just like come out of nowhere. This is gonna be interesting. Hi, buddy. <laughs> I hope you guys have your mat set up already. You know I'm going to tell you to get a sip of your water. Mm. Okay, that's your spot pin. Whew, you guys, this is already starting in such a fun way. <laughs> Come on into a comfortable seat. Get yourself nice and comfortable. Sitting up nice and tall through your spine. Hands in your lap. You can have your legs crossed or not. As long as you are comfortable and you are upright. So go ahead and close your eyes. We're gonna focus for a minute on just doing some breath work in and out through the nose. So everyone take a big inhale in through the nose. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, breathe it in. Exhale, press it out. Engage your core as you press that air out. Inhale, really feel the entire front side of your body lifting. And exhale, let it go. Two more, just like that. In, out. One more, in. And exhale, let it go. Great job. Keep your eyes closed. We're gonna keep breathing. Right now, you just kind of practice in and out through your nose in a natural rhythm. But if you are just jumping on with me, tonight's practice is going to be very beginner friendly. So if you've never done yoga, I promise you will be successful. And if you are joining me, give me a thumbs up, give me a heart. I'd love to know that you're here with me. <laughs> you're really here for the animals. I know, I know you guys. <laughs> All right, with that next inhale, close your eyes if they're not already. Bring that left hand to your heart, right hand to your belly again. Take a big inhale, feel that oxygen going to the deepest part of your lungs. Inhale, exhale, engage your core, press it out. Inhale, hold your breath at the top. Four, three, two, one, release. Press it out for six, two, three, four, five, Six, hold it. One, two, inhale. Four, three, two, one, hold it. Four, three, two, one, press it out for six. Two, three, four, five, six, hold for two. Inhale, three, two, one, hold for four. Three, two, one, press it out for six. Two, three, four, five, six. Great job. Just let your breath come to a nice normal flow. <clears throat> That's just one breathing technique that you can use whether you're trying to fall asleep, whether you're trying to find calm in the middle of your day, if you're starting to feel anxious or just overwhelmed. You just take that time, you focus on your breath, 
you hold in between and really just let the oxygen do its work. Great job. So go ahead, bring your hands onto your sides this time, like right on your rib cage. And as we inhale, I want you to really feel your ribs pressing left and right. Inhale. Exhale, use your abs, press that air out. Inhale, ribs go left and right. Exhale, press it out. One more just like that, in and out. Great job. Just go ahead and release your hands down by your side. Again, we're sitting up nice and tall, not rolling, slouching in our spine. As we inhale, I want you to lift your shoulders up to your ears. Exhale, loop them back and down your spine, feeling your shoulder blades rolling in towards the back. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, release those shoulders down. Inhale. Exhale. One more just like that. In. Exhale, let it go. Great. Inhale, sweep your arms all the way up. Look up, big stretch here. And as we exhale, float your hands down, tuck your chin into your chest. Inhale, lengthen, bring those arms up and overhead again. Look up. Exhale, float them down, chin to chest. One more. In. Out. Great. Inhale, sweep your arms all the way up, hold it there. Take that left hand to your right wrist, lean over to that left side. Really feel yourself getting that deep stretch through the right side body here. Notice if your chest turned down towards the floor, rotate it up towards that ceiling and really try to lengthen through your arm a little bit more. Inhale, exhale. Really visualize that air going into this right rib cage. One more breath here, in. And exhale, come all the way back up to center, look up. Exhale, float your hands down, chin to chest. Inhale, lift them back up. Right hand to left wrist this time. Lean over to the right. Spiral your chest towards the sky here. Notice if your legs started to lift. Really try to ground them down in towards your mat. Focus on that breath. Lengthen through that left arm. And again, visualize that air going into that left lung, really pressing that left rib cage towards the wall. Exhale, use your core, press that air out. One more, in and out. Great, inhale all the way back up to center, look up. And exhale, float your hands down, chin to chest. Awesome, bring your hands onto your knees, curling your fingertips under your kneecaps here. As we inhale, we're gonna press our chest forward, look up, bend at your elbows. And as we exhale, I want you to pull your back towards the wall behind you, getting this kind of C shape in your spine. Tuck your chin into your chest, feel your hips and your tailbone rotating up towards the sky. Inhale, lengthen, roll forward, press that chest forward. Exhale, round. Inhale, big breath. Exhale, press it out. And do three more with your own breath. Two to go. And last one. Awesome job. Sit up nice and tall. And we're going to go on to all fours. So bring your knees underneath of your hips. Fix your clothes if you need to. It's kind of inevitable. I don't know how clothing just doesn't stay on us, you guys. It's kind of crazy. And then bring your wrists directly underneath of your shoulders. Spread your fingertips nice and wide and go ahead and curl your toes under here. Get a nice flat back. We're not arching in our spine. Nice and neutral. Send your gaze out just past your nose. Take a big inhale. Exhale, let it go. Push the air out with your abs. Inhale, exhale, inhale, drop your belly, lift your hips, send your gaze forward, press away from the mat with your hands, and as we exhale, roll through, pulling your spine towards the ceiling, tuck your chin into your chest, same motion as we were just doing seated, but now in this tabletop position.
Inhale, lengthen, drop your belly. Exhale, round. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Last one. Great job. Come back into that neutral tabletop position. Really press firmly into that left hand and lift that right arm forward. Spread your fingertips wide. You can take the tops of your feet, plant them down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, lift that left leg, point those toes, but I don't want you to arch in that spine. Nice straight back here. Inhaling in. And on an exhale, slow and controlled, connect elbow to knee right in the center of your body as you slightly arch in your spine. Inhale, lengthen again, no dipping in that low back. Exhale, connect. Inhale. Exhale. One more, in and out. Great job, plant that knee, plant that hand. We'll go on to the opposite side. So inhale, bring those left fingertips forward. Find your balance here, find that stability point. And when you're ready, send your right toes back, keeping your back nice and flat here. Inhaling in, and on an exhale, connect elbow to knee right in the center. Slow and controlled, maintaining that balance. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, connect. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Last one. Great job. Plant that knee. Plant that palm. Curl those toes under. Take a big breath in. And on an exhale, lift your hips all the way up to the sky. It's okay if you have a big bend in your knees right now. We haven't really played around with getting any stretching in our leg here. So what I want you to do is turn your biceps towards that front wall. Spread your fingertips wide. Feel yourself pressing into your index finger knuckles and your thumb pads. Really locking your arms right in place. Once you have your arms in the right place, begin to press your chest towards your thighs, lifting your hips a little higher. It's okay if your heels are lifted or again, your knees are bent. In time, you'll be able to lengthen through the backs of your legs. Inhale, exhale. One more breath here, in. And on an exhale, bend your knees, look forward, step or walk all the way up to the front of your mat, bringing your feet nice and close together, and then release your upper body over your lower body. Tuck your chin into your chest. Get a nice big bend here in your knees, opening up through that low back. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath here. In. Out. Inhale. Glide your hands all the way up to your thighs. Straighten through your legs. Straighten through your upper body like you're the figure seven and just send your gaze out past your nose. Take a big breath in in our halfway lift. And as we exhale, bend your knees, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Bring your hands to your shins this time. And exhale, fold. Inhale, slow and controlled. We're going to roll all the way up to standing. In five, four, three, two, one. Loop those shoulders up, back, and down. Lengthen through the top of your head. Take your right hand to your chin. Glide your chin back in space so your ears come right over your shoulders. And just bring your hands down your side. Spread those fingertips nice and wide here. Take a big inhale. Exhale. Feel yourself grounding in this mountain pose. Feet are getting heavy into the mat. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath here, in and out. Great job, bend your knees, drop your hands down. We're gonna draw big circles. You see them all the way back up. Slight back bend at the top. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. 
Go ahead and plant your palms down on your mat. Step one foot back and then the other. Shift yourself into a plank. Now, if this is uncomfortable, you can always take a modified by dropping down onto your knees. Always, 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 you guys, find what is right for your body. We are different, we're built differently, we move differently, so you don't have to do the same dang thing that I'm doing all the time. Make it feel good for your body, okay? Now you're like, are we done with this pose? No, take a huge breath in. Exhale, really engage your core, press that air out. Feel your inner thighs rotating towards the ceiling right now and press into your hands, really lift away from the floor. Inhale. Exhale, bring on that shake, it's okay. This is how we gain muscles. Look at your hands and I want you to slightly angle your fingertips towards the edge of your mat, not dramatic, just barely pivot them and take a big inhale. And this time on your exhale, slow and controlled. Keep your elbows at your side and lower all the way down. Belly comes to the mat, uncurl your feet. Inhale, press into your hands, lift your upper body away from the floor into our up dog. Engage your glutes here, keep that low back nice and safe. Inhale, exhale, feel your shoulders looping around the back side of your body as your chest gets a little wider here. Inhale. And on an exhale, begin to send your hips to your heels. You can open your knees as wide as your mat, bring those big toes in to touch, and then use your hands to help walk you back in place. And then slowly begin to release your forehead all the way down. Close your eyes. Take a big inhale in through the nose. Exhale, let it go through the mouth. Inhale. Exhale, one more in and out. Great job. Just let that breath come in and out through the nose in a normal rhythm. We come back to our child's pose to help ground ourselves, become still, allow our heart rate to stabilize, catch our breath. And most importantly, to find gratitude. So with that, I want you to take a big smile, put it on your face, and think of one thing that you're grateful for from today. With your next inhale, find your flow all the way up to our all four position. Table up. Knees directly under your hips, wrists under your shoulders. Pet your animal if they're close by. <laughs> and go ahead and curl your toes under. Take a big inhale. And on that exhale, send your hips all the way up. Downward facing dog. Get your arms in the right position, spiraling your biceps towards the wall in front, feeling yourself pressing into your index finger and your thumb pads, and seeing if you can just release your heels a little closer to the mat this time. Inhaling in, and out. Inhale, press that right heel down, lift through your left heel, and then alternate. As we begin to just pedal through, getting a little extra stretch through the back sides of our legs. And then come back into stillness. Take a big breath in. And as you exhale, bend your knees, look forward, step or walk all the way up. Bring your big toes right in close, heels touch, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, big circles. We come all the way up. Slight back bend at the top. And exhale, bring your palms together. We'll take a breath in. 
and out. One more in. And on that exhale, feel your shoulders releasing down your back. Great job. Bend your knees. Bring those hands down. Draw a big circle one more time. Stand all the way up. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, fold. I want you to step your right foot far back. We're going to bend in that front leg. Only set where your front knee is in line with that ankle. Bring your fingertips onto the floor and lift through your chest. Take a big breath in. And on an exhale, release that back knee down. Uncurl your toes. Go ahead and plant that right palm onto the floor. Inhale, open that left arm all the way up. This right knee or left knee is going to try to send itself outward. Pull it in towards your body. Inhaling in and out. If you feel any pressure in your knee, shift your body weight forward, keeping that front knee aligned with that ankle. Inhaling in and out. You can always bring your hand to your hip if you have any issues with your shoulders, or you can bring your fingertips right to your shoulder as well. Inhale and exhale. One more breath here. In. And on an exhale, go ahead and release that hand down. Lift through your chest. Bring both of your hands together in front. And then lift that upper body all the way up. Point your hands towards the ceiling here. Bring your palms together. Take a breath in. And on that exhale, we're going to slow and control. First, send our elbows wide. Twist to the left. Connect that elbow to the outside edge of your left knee. And just feel your press your knee pressing into your elbow and vice versa. Inhaling in and out. One more breath here, in. And on an exhale, slow and controlled, twist your body forward, plant your hands down, we'll curl those back toes under, lift your knee away from the floor, step your right foot up to meet your left, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, halfway left. Exhale, fold. Inhale, big circle, all the way up. Exhale, fold. Plant those palms. Step your opposite foot back this time. And then the other, shifting in the plank. And then move through your vinyasa, slowly lowering all the way down. Inhaling into up dog. And exhale, send it back into child's pose. And if you'd like to stretch your legs a little more, you can go into a downward facing dog. And wherever you land, close your eyes and just focus on that breath. Take a big inhale in through the nose, out through the nose. Inhale. Exhale, make it audible. One more, in and out. Great job. Just let your breath come to a normal rhythm. Bring a big smile on your lips. And I want you to think of a second thing that you're grateful for from today. If you're in child's pose, in that next inhale, find your flow up to our downward facing dog. Inhaling in and out. <clears throat> Making sure your arms are in the right position. <clears throat> inhale and exhale. Inhale, drop your hips towards the left side of your mat, finding a slight pivot in your feet. 
and send it all the way back up to center and then go to the opposite side feeling an extra stretch through your side body here we'll do one more each side and come back to center inhale and on the exhale bend your knees step forward come into our forward fold Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Inhale, big circle, all the way up. Exhale, palms together right at your heart. Take a breath there, or fix your clothes. <laughs> One more breath in and out. Inhale, bend those knees, big circle, stand all the way up. Exhale, forward fold. Plant those palms. This time we're going to step that left foot far back. Get that front knee in line with your ankle. Inhale, send your chest forward, look forward. Lower in that back knee. Plant the top of that foot all the way down. Go ahead and plant your left hand onto the mat. Keep this knee stable in towards the center of your front knee. And then open that arm all the way up. Right hand. Spiral that thumb towards the wall behind you so we don't cause any compression at the shoulder. Inhale. Exhale. Inhaling in. Exhale, let it go. One more breath here. In. And on that exhale, release your hand down. Come onto your fingertips. And we're going to slow and control. Lift through our upper body. Bring those arms up and overhead. Big stretch here. Palms together, release them to your heart, opening your elbows wide. Turn to the right, connect elbow to knee. Feel that twist through your spine. And if you guys can hear any um, like scratching of fabric, that's because Lenny is right over there behind me doing who knows what. Crazy cat. Take a big inhale. Exhale. One more breath here. In. And on that exhale, release your hands all the way down. Curl your back toes under. Lift that knee away from the floor. Step your left foot up to meet your right. Forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Bend your knees. Inhale, big circle. Stand all the way up. Slight back bend at the top. Exhale, fold. Plant your palms, step or hop all the way back. Getting fancy on you. And then move through your vinyasa. And this time, if you've had your knees open wide for the last couple, child's pose, try to keep your knees into the center so you can really release through that low back. Listen to your body. As you release your head down to the floor, close your eyes, and walk your hands back under your shoulders, or bring them all the way back towards your heels, opening your palms up towards the ceiling. Just really feeling your shoulders roll forward, feeling that extra weight into your forehead here. And just take a moment to be still, to be present, and that just simply means noticing what's going on around you. Noticing the feelings that you're experiencing, the sensations around you, the emotions, all of the things, just notice. And bring a big smile on your lips. And I want you to think of a third thing that you're grateful for from today.
and with your next inhale, glide your hands up under your shoulders if they're not there already, and press away from the floor, lifting your upper body all the way up, sending your hips onto your heels. Sit up nice and tall, pull your knees into the center. Just release your hands down by your side. Take a big inhale. And exhale. Inhale, sweep your arms all the way up, look up. And exhale, float your hands down, tuck your chin into your chest. Inhale. And exhale. One more, just like that. In. And out. Great job. Send your body weight forward. Curl your toes under. And slow and controlled, send your hips back to your heels. Now, if you have too much pressure in your feet, just lift up and away. Finding what's comfortable for you here. But our feet, you guys, they take us through our day. They are so interconnected with everything. Everything's connected, right? So it's important that you prioritize every single part of you. Your brain, your body, your muscles. Making sure that you are in optimal health, you guys. So just focus on your breath here. Try not to pay attention to the sensations you might be feeling. Take a big inhale. And exhale. One more breath here. In. And exhale. Send your body weight forward and your legs to one side or the other. Release your bottom all the way down. Extend your legs out in front. Curl your toes in towards your nose. Bring your palms right at your hips. Plant them onto your mat. Sit up nice and tall here. If you need a little bend in your knees, that's okay. I might be telling you that you might have a little low back uh, tension going on. I want you to really focus on turning your big toes in towards one another. Naturally, we just want our feet to just fall open. So we're going to turn them inward. Press into your palms. Lift through that chest. Sit up nice and tall. Take a big breath in and out. Inhale. Exhale. One more here. In. And out. Great job. Inhale. Sweep those arms all the way up. Look up. And as the exhale, I want you to move from your hips, not your back, and just hinge forward, catching wherever you can. Maybe you can only catch your shins. Maybe you can catch your ankles. In time, you'll be able to catch the bottom of your feet. Keeping your back nice and straight here. And just tuck your chin into your chest. Inhale. And with your exhale, feel yourself shifting forward and folding a little bit more. Inhaling in. And out. One more breath here. In. And on that exhale, release your hold. Sit up nice and tall in your spine. We're going to take that right leg, place it outside of your left leg here. Bring that right hand back behind. Inhale, sweep your left fingers all the way up to the sky. And as you exhale, turn and connect your arm to your leg. And then look over that right shoulder. Flex your left toes in towards your face. And find a lengthening through your spine. You don't want to just round here. Really lengthen through. Inhale. Exhale. One more in. And exhale. Let it go. With that next inhale, we're going to twist to the opposite side. Plant both hands onto the ground for a counter twist. And then we'll come back to center and switch legs. So plant that left foot outside of the right knee. Left palm goes back behind. Inhale, bring your right hand all the way up to the sky, look up. And as you exhale, twist and connect. Look over that left shoulder. Find the length in your spine. And just breathe. You can part your lips just slightly, releasing any tension in your jaw, through your neck, into your shoulders. 
And just focus on that breath. Inhale. Engage your core. Press that air out. One more just like that. In. Out. Inhale. Twist to the opposite side. Counter twist. And then come back forward. I want you to bring both legs into the center. Bottoms of your feet meet. Pulling them in towards your hips as close as you can get. As comfortable as you can get. Why don't you take your hands, interlace your fingers, wrap them around your toes, and just press your knees right into your thighs. Inhale, lengthen through your spine. And exhale, just fold as far as you can. If you want to release your elbows in front of your shins to go a little deeper, go for it. Find a variation that's going to work for you. And just focus on that breath. Inhale. Exhale. One more here, in and out. Great, sit up nice and tall. Bring the bottoms of your feet onto the floor. Send your arms out in front of you, palms facing one another. Take a big inhale. Make sure you're nice and straight through your spine. And on an exhale, we're gonna slow and controlled. Release your entire upper body all the way down. No flapping, you guys. Extend your arms overhead, get a big stretch. You can stretch your legs for a moment. And on that exhale, pull your knees into your chest. Catch them with your hands. Just give yourself a little tug here, lifting that low back away from the floor. And then find your stillness. Take a big inhale. And exhale. Bring your palms together right at your chest. Inhale. And exhale, send them through your knees. Catch the outside bottom of your feet. And then send the feet all the way up towards the ceiling. You can stay right here and just allow the weight of your arms to pull your legs down towards the ground. Or you can start to play around. Maybe you want to find a rock side to side, just massaging through your spine, massaging through your back. You can play around with bending one leg straightening the other. Or you can take your peace fingers and catch your big toes and again really find some length playing around in this position. This is a happy baby pose you guys and you know every tiny little human that you see rolling around on the floor they are having a fantastic time. Who says we can't? So just focus on that breath. Inhaling in. And out. Press your chin towards the ground a little bit more, finding some length through the back side of your neck. Inhale. And on an exhale, release the bottoms of your feet together and right at the center of your mat. Bring your hands right at your hip creases. Take a big inhale. And on an exhale, press firmly into your thighs, feeling your low back traction just a little bit, a little opening. Inhale, release. And exhale, press into your thighs. One more, in. And out. Great job. Go ahead and extend your left leg and then your right leg. Release your hands down to the mat, opening your palms up towards the ceiling. We made it, you guys, into our savasana, our final resting pose for the session. So take a big inhale in through the nose. Exhale, press it out. Inhale, take the biggest breath you've taken all day. Exhale, press it out twice as long. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Catch your breath. Great job. And just let it come to a nice normal rhythm here. In and out through the nose. This is our time to be still, to be present, and to just breathe.
your next inhale. Go ahead and wiggle your toes, your fingers. Bat your eyelashes open and closed. And when you're ready, roll onto your side facing you. We'll take a breath there. Inhaling in. And now. And with that next inhale, press yourself away from the floor. Come on up into a comfortable seat. Hands in your lap, eyes closed, sitting up tall. Inhale. Exhale. Bring your palms together all the way up to your forehead. Inhaling in. And out. Be kind in your thoughts to yourself and others. Bring your hands down to your lips. Inhaling in. And out. Be kind in your words to yourself and others. Bring your hands down to your heart. Inhale. And exhale. Be kind in your actions to yourself and others. Take one more big inhale. And then an exhale, bow forward. Namaste. Thank you guys so much for joining me. If you were here and you loved it, give me a heart or a smiley face or a thumbs up or all of those things. And I hope to see you guys again in the future. If you're on YouTube, catch it this way later, subscribe. Because like 85% of you watch us, watch me and the cat and the dog, and you're not subscribed. So subscribe, please. Help me get to a thousand. We're slowly inching our way there. <laughs> Otherwise, you guys stay awesome humans, and I will see you again very, very soon. Bye.